has just re um, reinvigorated the strength of this champion. The response from Odo is going to be his Jace. Uh, he's a player. Infinity. They have a ward on it as well. Don't really want to try and smite fight Arel. He goes in. Peach doesn't get it, but Hicknar does somehow. Yankos burn his smite. Peach did not. Sometimes that happens too. It does, and for Giant X, they'll be happy that they got lucky. Remember, if they win this, they are locked into our top eight, into our playoffs. Hook's gonna land from Trimby, puts the Ignite down on Patrick. Lightning crash as well from Flacker. Ignite flashes, battle dances away. Level six for Flacker, though, means that he's very willing to flash forward further as Patrick falls low. Ignar can block these, but he decides against it. And now Ignar's hooked under the tower. There's two for Flackhead. Meanwhile, in the top lane, Wonder was looking for the dive with Yankos. There's the shadowing strike, and Wonder will fall. Odo takes the kill. Okay, so a lot of action happening across the map. A straight up 2v2 kill for Flackhead and Trimby in the bot lane. I mean, that just goes to show the strength of Nautilus as a champion, right? Just does so much in the early laning phase. Yankos, you need to calm yeah, down, no, sir. Right? So Yankos doesn't have flash here. A couple of autos will be enough as Peach takes it. Okay, so... Questionable play. Yeah, that was poor. I mean, that hopefully... Step into the jungle. Trimby coming across. No lightning crash on Flack and no flash on him either. The dredge line rip tight combination. There's the quickness, though, as Trimby is locked up. Does still have the flash. Depth charge on the back line as Jackie's gets knocked up, but Trimby falls first. Flacker dances away across the wall. The chase comes in from Odo Omne as he TP in behind. And there goes the kill. Jackie's taking out Flackard. And Giant X proactive in calling for that. Also, just the sheer amount of wave curve that this Karma does have. Now we approach the Herald. Yankos has gotten it pretty low, but Giant X is here to contest. And as they said, they didn't like the fact that Giant X were just being cameramen. Well, here, the cameramen want a piece of the action. It's like the office all over again as the hook does go down onto Peach. There's a chain of corruption as well. Peach stunned up. Feromancy tries to dash away. Chased down by Wonder. There's a CC from Ignar, but Peach will be forfeit. They steal away the Rift Herald but they do lose their jungler for it. The extended fight. Yes. Yankos and Wonder, like the claws of a crab, will begin to descend. Very powerful force. As Zyru now sets forward, Yankos gets onto the back line. There's the sun, there's the CC, and Jackie's is deleted. Magnusorm coming out as well as Yankos falls. But this is where Flacker can really open up. He's only got 300 health left, though, as Odo Omne snipes out Trimby. Ignar, Patrick, and Odo Omne now on the, the dragon with Peach. Wonder tries to do what he can. The Void Rush, not enough to escape the clutches of Odo. And even though Heretics found a pretty good engage, Giant X survived it. I mean, what a great... The, the Nostradamus of stats to, to prove to us that Giant X will win, but with it 17 seconds on the Drake, they're now setting up around it. Peach trying to collapse in. Yanka's going to catch him out for the moment, but Peach pretty tanky. Damage already onto Spyro, though, as Trimby steps forward. There's the dredge line. Wonder going in with the bow. Flacker going in as well. Ignar dives onto the back line with a quickness, and Giant X are just looking for the disengage, but look at the poke. Trimby's already a third HP. Flacker trying to do everything he can just to get those autos down, but Jack is, Jackie's kills off Trimby, and now Wonder is running for the hills. Giant X continue to collapse. They got one kill. That's all they needed to secure themselves the soul. Will Yankos look for the steal, or will he accept that this dragon is gone? Another demonstration of great patience and control from Giant X. They played around their vision very well. They played more of a front-to-back style. Their tanks weathered the boat keeps coming over from the other side of the wall. Now it's Viro who's in danger. Each coming across the wall, so is Ignar. The chase continues. Zviro, no flash. Burnt it in the previous engagement, and Zviro is down. Each takes it. The Baron a possibility now for Giant X. already scary, the soul. though. Even though the Annie is dead, he's coming in from the flank, sitting in this fog of war. He will be spotted out there, but he's just created more darkness. Yeah, but remember, he's spotted by Wonder as well with the, the tremor sense, That's right? True. So they always know where Ignar is until Wonder unbows. They look for Odo Omne first. Wonder comes out. Trimby as well. The Void Rush in by Wonder, trying to get onto that back line, but Ignar's still very, very safe. And now Peach tanks up Wonder for a while. Flacker trying to get away from this. Ignar dives in. And Flackhead is buried in the dirt. Wonder follows him to an early grave. A quick shower for them as they head down the tunnel. Giant X, though, perfection in these team fights. Oh, yeah. I mean, they are playing these very, very well. It's so easy to get caught into the chaos of these fights, get drawn into going into a brawl, but you can see the community... Oh, Zvira's going to get caught again. Has no flash, has the Tibbers. Focus result doesn't quite land at the end of it. Odo comes across for a bit of an accelerated shock blast. And Giant X now. <laughs> I don't like that joke. <laughs> now, tower gonna drop. 
Wonder getting chipped away. How tanky Ooh, are Johnson you, Wonder? Hits. Wonder's gonna get rooted up with a focus resolve as well. Not tanky enough, it seems, as Patrick goes on a rampage. Trimby tries to dive in, but all of the diving he's doing is underneath the surface. Taken out by Giant X. Two quick kills for them. Can a minion here? They can tank that tower for a little while at least. The tower should fall. Survivor so down to half HP from an accelerated shot blast. No minion waves in top and bot for them, though, means that it will only be the one wave push, the one lane push, at least, for Giant X. Very well played. I mean, what else is there to say? I am very sad. And Giant X denying Heretic's entrance into the jungle. Heretics have no vision on this side of the map, apart from that provided to them by their minions. Oh, they Trimby. Can oh. see a little bit of Trimby. Whoa, okay, he goes in. The quickness landing on Survivor as well. Charm onto Yankos will force him away. There's another. Zoda secures the kill. The teddy bear left without an Annie to hug to sleep at night. Smyro has gone dark. for the long <laughs> sleep. <laughs> Annie's story is really dark. Remember when that they released is. that cinematic? Giant X, they're looking to secure their third win of the week. They're looking to lock in playoffs as they see the Nexus in their eyes. A Cinderella story for them to come back and secure their own spot in the playoffs. Wonder and Flackhead try to do anything, but the challenge is denied by Giant X. It's impossible. Wonder goes back in, lands the knocker, but he's stunned. Void Rush trying to get out to the back of it. Cease and desist the one to Odo Omne means that they can begin to open up, but they just don't have any damage. Wonder's a tank. Yankos has a sundered sky for all that's helping as he goes down. Sent to join his friends in the sky, it seems, as Giant X, in convincing fashion, will lock their spot in spring playoffs. Cool, calm, collected faces on the side of Giant X. They came in with a plan. They pinched Spyro's pool. Three mid lane bans, and they wanted to put the pressure on him. I think in the laning phase, they did a great job. They limited his impact in the game. And overall, they played those fights to perfection. Nothing but credit should be given to Giant X for this weekend.